right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to June 4th. I hope you're doing great. Big shout out. Happy birthday to Miss Colleen. It's her birthday today. Woohoo, Gemini. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see where we're going today. Um, I also want to say that today we have a Venus Kazemi in astrological terms, and that means the sun is conjunct Venus. And so the Venus energy is just amplified by that, woo, that little burst of sun. So new opportunities, new possibilities, love that energy. So let's see where we're going today. What is wanting to come through this weekend, Pathfinders? I will be looking at the pendulum and how you connect with your guides. Um, and next week, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. So I'm going to talk about it during this week's um Pathfinder group. So tune in if you have the opportunity to do that. All right. The tribe. Happy, happy. Excellent. Excellent. Change in the wind. And oh, chaos and conflict. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So I just want to say to you, first of all, I've been seeing 333 a lot. This is a 33 card. Um, 30, 33 or 333 is a master teacher energetic expression. Okay. And so what that, what I'm seeing here is that there can be a lot of change happening. The minute you shift into being happy, those who don't want to see you happy kind of fall out. They don't like this. Is there anybody who's kind of nasty about your birthday? Just saying, um, or doesn't like it or isn't really involved with it or isn't like, Hey, you know, Hey, you, <laughs> yay, you, <laughs> if there is somebody like that, um, in your life, that's worth a look. And because I am getting this tribe, okay, this tribe card. And so I'm, I'm getting the feeling that there may be some changes happening because you're determining to go in a direction that's positive for you. Is there anybody who kind of doesn't want that? And it may not be so obvious to you. Uh, you could be gaslighting yourself a little bit about this because sometimes it's hard to really see the truth when we don't want to see it. Okay. So, um, but let's focus on the happy, happy. Let's focus on the aligning with positivity and all of that. But we just really do have to um, see, uh, see other people for who they're being. Okay. Real clear sightedness. And that can be the change that brings about this happiness where you're like, you know what? My peace is more important. Okay. So then keeping the peace, my peace is more important than keeping the peace. So let's see what's going on here. 10 of pentacles underneath the emperor, the eight of swords, the justice card, the moon, Wow. And the 10 of wands. Some of you are carrying a burden um, and have just decided or just made the shift into working on your happiness and recognizing that that's, you know, maybe you're coming at it from a different direction. Like, hey, I want to manifest something in my life. So I'm going to align with my super positive energy and I'm going to be clear eyed in terms of reality. I'm also going to start from the place of what's true and also what is true for me, which may or not, may not be the same thing. Like this is the reality of something and this is how I'm feeling about it and being okay with that and not gaslighting yourself like, well, because I'm okay with something, other people are not okay with it. So should I not be okay with it? No, I feel like it's really important to align with what brings happiness, legit, um, authentic happiness. And some of you may not know what brings happiness. I was, I don't know where I was reading this yesterday, but it struck me as very interesting. So I'll tell you this little story. This woman, um, this two people, this man, I think it was a man or woman. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Does it? Maybe it does. But um, woman telling a story, man telling a story about a coworker who brought in a sandwich to work and the sandwich was like, this woman was very interested in good health and was always, you know, very fit and did yoga, did, uh, was a runner and everything like that and brought in this sandwich. And I feel like this, this might be the first time this colleague saw the sandwich. It was like, 
you know, steak and ketchup and onions and just like piled high with all this stuff. It just seemed super out of alignment for this person. And so the co-worker was like, whose sandwich is that? And she's like, well, it's my sandwich. (laughs) Obviously, I brought it to work, like thinking they were accusing them of stealing something out of the refrigerator. And the co-worker was like, no, no, no. Who taught you that that was a good sandwich? (laughs) Right? Who said that that was a good sandwich for you? Is that what you like? And the, co- and the person who brought the sandwich in was like, oh, well, this is just how my mother used to make a sandwich. And the coworker was like, yeah, but do you like that? Is that what you like? Or is that just what you got used to? And the coworker just broke down in tears, like, like, oh my God, I don't even know what I like. Oh my God. So there can be some kind of like watershed moment here where what was right in the family was really kind of presided over by this emperor. What was right was just like kind of blindly followed for a long time. But we are having also this new moon in Gemini. And so we get a chance to tell our own story and we get a chance to put down a lot of baggage that we're carrying around that we don't even really know why we're doing that. Um, We don't even know why we're uh, aligning with that, which is just like, well, I just thought this was what a sandwich was. And the coworker's like, um, I, my sandwich doesn't look anything like that. And you don't have to like the sandwich I brought, but it just strikes me as so out of character for you. So, all right. So this is about taking care of yourself, about nurturing yourself and about understanding what it is that you like. Sometimes people who, and I definitely have had this experience Like someone is asking you like what you like to do or what you like in terms of clothes or what you like in terms of music. And you're like, "Uh, I'm trying to think of what the right answer would be instead of what I actually really like. So there's something here about doing that kind of work. And that is what we're going to be talking about in Pathfinders about because 2024 is about the year of intuition. And you can't have a working onboard intuition if you don't even know what you like for a sandwich, if you don't know what you like for music, if you don't know what you like, then you're, you know, you're cutting off your own intuitive sense. So we're going to be doing some work around that, not this week, but next week, Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles, Hanged Man. This is a little bit like what I was just talking about, about seeing things differently, about which is it, one or the other, which is it, and trying to determine your own intuition. And I'm giving you lots of tools around getting, you know, sort of circumventing that programming, that social programming, societal programming, family programming. I'm giving you tools to get, you know, to get yourself to your intuitive feelings, your intuitive sense, your compass, your inner compass, because it's been short circuited all this time, especially those of us. And I will put myself in this category who second guess yourself. You're gaslighting yourself, right? Like, wait a second. Is this is this in alignment with what I'm supposed to do or what I should do? It's like peeling away at that onion is a really important part of getting healthy. So the magician, the eight of cups, the eight of pentacles, sometimes in a family, everything's about work and money. And if you're not being productive, uh, boy, I definitely had that experience. I've told that story many times about being a kid Saturday morning, six years old. And my father would come home from work at like eight in the morning. He'd been at the office and I would jump up and shut off the TV, you know, because it wasn't productive. Like at six years old, I knew that. And it was completely appropriate for at 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning for a kid, especially in Gen X, to be watching cartoons. (laughs) Nine of Cups. Uh, page of cups and the ace of wands. So this is really about you being able to manifest. I like this ace of wands and the magician here because this this is really truly a um, uh, like a magic wand. This is about being able to manifest and align without second guessing yourself, without gaslighting yourself, without um, being unsure of what it is that you want in life. And sometimes, you know, the alignment thing gets really hard when you're constantly like, I don't really know 
but this is the career path that is that's you know what my family was okay with or this is the type of husband or type of relationship that is respected by my family or something like that but like underneath that is like what do you want what is for you and i get the feeling that because this happy happy you've some of you might have gotten a little glimpse of real happy happy and that has caused this this to shift that has caused this to shift. You see in the chaos and conflict how the zebra uh, stripes are underneath that. The zebra is right here. So there can be something about, I, I'm not sure if this is the zebra becoming this. I'm not sure what that kind of horse is or the reverse. I'm not sure. But it's like there's something underneath here that's different than what's on top. And there's something in the core of you that's different that is here to be uncovered. And the queen of pentacles is really that energy of doing the work, uncovering that, seeing you for who you truly are and being cool with it. It doesn't have to conform to anything. It doesn't have to fit in any kind of structure, body size, or, you know, societal norms around body size, around what's beautiful and what's not beautiful. And, all of these kinds of things, like we get into a, you know, work really created by marketing companies. <laughs> True. <laughs> We're really created. And, you know, in, in effect, if you go back 200 years or whatever, those marketing companies were families who were saying, in order to marry well, you have to be this. You have to look like this. You have to do this. And so it makes sense to me that some of you are leaving behind, like in order to really manifest for yourself, some of you are leaving behind an old way of being, eight of cups, and really putting in the time and effort, good on you, putting in the time and effort. Now, I feel like when the rubber hits the road, what happens when you actually get what you want? And it's almost like, it's, <laughs> it's almost like the dog that caught the car. It's like, uh, 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 I actually have it. I actually have a person who loves me back and is authentic with me. And what's wrong with them? Right. Like there's this sense of like, what's wrong with you? Why? Why? And, you know, money comes in. Uh, you're doing your authentic work and money comes in. Oh, well, oh, what if what if it all goes away the next day? Like that kind of stuff can happen. All right. So let me get a sense of of. Um, the magician here. Talk to me about the magician. Now, this is Mercury. Mercury is ruling Gemini. We are in Gemini right now. I've been talking a lot about telling a different story, telling telling yourself a different story, but also telling the world a different story about who you are, about what you want, what it, whatever it is. Strength, Ace of Swords, King of Swords. Wow, wow, wow. Tower. You could definitely, there, I, I don't know who I'm speaking to here. This might be some, this might be just for a small number of you, but some of you are also dealing with a partner or this partner is going through this. You might have already gone through this and this other person is about to go through something like this where they're, they're recognizing their own authentic truth and it's like blowing up their life. OK, it's blowing up their life. So you can be dealing with a magician who's walking away from a career path or walking away from a lifestyle or a li um, some kind of, um, of uh, pattern that they've had in their lives. And when they get real, when they get authentic, when they get down to it, it can cause power. Of course it can. Of course it can. If we all, if you are in... This is a very rudimentary example, but um, if you are all in a group, let's just say you're all in this group and everybody agrees that um, lollipops are the best food on the planet. There's nothing better than a lollipop. Nothing. And you're like, yeah, I like a salad. And everyone's like, ew. So you run the risk of being ostracized by this tribe. Um, you also run the risk of, you know, very real risk um, 
as a child, if you're ostracized from a, fa a family, you could die because you don't have you don't have any money. You don't have the ability to um, take care of yourself. You don't have the ability to protect yourself. So there's a, uh, a there's a kind of an unfair advantage that that you could be in for a long period of time when you're growing up. And if these things have been uh, taken root in such a way that it's very hard for you to um, uproot them. Sometimes while you're uprooting them, you can have this kind of experience where, and this I believe to be some kind of soulmate experience where you're kind of leading and, you know, this can be twin flame. You're kind of leading and doing this. And I want to have a really onboard working intuition. People are drawn to you. They want a, an onboard working intuition if that's what's going on with you. And that you can see in, in your life and their life where things, where shit gets blown up. Okay. And it's not to say, I just feel like that's, I mean, okay. <laughs> Blowing up is progress. I, it doesn't necessarily mean that things like go crazy, but the it's in direct proportion to how battened down the truth is. How, how, you know, how many um, times it's like tied up and put in a closet and locked in the closet and a door, you know, there's a chair in front of the door. There's the lights are out. There's a chair in front of the door of the room. There's a locked door. Like how many things do you have to go through to get to that truth is in direct proportion to how big the tower is. And so it seems to me that some of the things I feel like this is part of the spiritual journey is for us to go through these. We go through those doors, right? Who's through the door first to get to that truth um, and work with that and, and recognize your sense of authenticity and all of that. You are leading. Oh, hi, Charlie. You are leading the charge for other people. You are being an example, right? For other people. And that's one of the reasons you're on the spiritual path, it seems to me. If you're watching this reading and you're very aligned with what I'm saying, this can be part of your mission is to align with align with truth, internal truth, and be authentic in such a way that it might inspire other people also. This can this can be like little, little towers all over the place of people going, aha, now I know why I am how I am. Aha, now I understand why all why I attract narcissists to me. Aha, now I understand why these relationships are draining to me. Aha, I get it. This Ace of Wands. Now you've got some kind of magic wand here. Six of Swords, Five of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Swords. The next step is a little bit around rage about how much time did I waste? Again, blaming yourself. Okay. So if you have that rage response, it's sort of like, this is where you need to be loving on yourself quite a bit that other people had their own ways of doing things. And, oh my God, I've been in this for 50 years or 40 years or 20 years or whatever it is. It's, it's like time to be kind to yourself instead of having this like rage response, let yourself be angry. Totally fine. Totally fine. Okay. So we're going to go deeper into this reading. If this is your story, I'll go deeper into this. I'm also going to pull cards for each Zodiac sign just to give you a little bit of guidance. All right. Around this, we're going to look at more blocks. We're going to get some guidance from spirit on this and we'll see where we go. Okay. Link is below. If you want to continue with me, if this is your story, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.